A radio frequency ablation, also known as radio frequency neurotomy, is an injection procedure used to treat sacroiliac joint pain. The sacroiliac joints, located between the iliac bones and the sacrum, connect the spine to the hips and provide support and stability. The sacroiliac joints can become painful when the ligaments become too loose or too tight and affect the nerves. This can be caused by a trauma, heavy lifting, pregnancy or hip or spine surgery. The nerve supply of the sacroiliac joints originates from multiple lumbosacral root levels with partial innervation from L5 anterior joint to S3 posterior joint. The bipolar radiofrequency palisade technique aims to create a continuous elongated lesion to simultaneously ablate the L5 dorsal ramus and lateral branches of the S1, S2 and S3 dorsal rami in order to capture all the sacral lateral branch nerves innervating the sacroiliac joint. To start the radiofrequency ablation procedure, the patient lays face down on the table in prone position. The palisade guide block is then placed on the skin over the sacrum. The physician uses AP fluoroscopy to align the guide block from the lateral aspect of the superior articular process of the L5-S1 facet joint to the lateral border of the S3 foramen. The position of the guide block is marked and it is removed. The patient is given a local anaesthetic at the targeted site. The guide block is loaded with up to seven cannulas and placed back in position. Each cannula is advanced approximately 10 millimeters into the skin, one at a time. Once all the cannulae are advanced to the dorsal surface of the sacrum, a lateral view is taken to confirm the location of the needle trajectories and ensure none have been advanced into the sacral foramen or on the posterior iliac crest. The stylets of the cannulae are removed and local anesthetic is injected to numb the tissues before ablation. Four electrodes are connected to the generator and inserted into the cannulae. The generator sends radio frequency waves to heat the tip of the electrode, creating two bipolar heat lesions on the nerves for three minutes at 90 degrees Celsius. The electrodes are then moved to the next position and the procedure is repeated. Finally, four electrodes are placed in the last position to complete the strip lesion. This strip lesion will disrupt the pain signals from traveling to the brain. With the right patient selection, radiofrequency ablation can offer chronic pain relief for between six months and several years and help to reduce the use of other pain medication.